Colonialism. The policy or practice of acquiring full or partial political control over another country, occupying it with settlers and exploiting it economically. The key ingredient common to all colonial powers, which to them justifies the subjugation and dehumanization of many people across the centuries, is racism. The British Empire was no exception to this rule. It's a special time because, as others have referred to, we are entering the centenary year of the Balfour Declaration. On the 2nd of November 1917, the then Foreign Secretary, a Conservative Foreign Secretary, Arthur James Balfour, wrote, His Majesty's Government view with favour the establishment in Palestine of a national home for the Jewish people and will use their best endeavours to facilitate the achievement of this object. Having no regard to the humanity of the Palestinian people, the British Foreign Secretary had the gall to promise their homeland to a small group of zealots, claiming to represent another people. In 1917, the Palestinian people, Christians, Muslims and Jews, comprised 93% of the population of a culturally and economically vibrant Palestine. Yet the Balfour Declaration essentially denied their existence, defining them in passing by what they were not and disregarding their fundamental national rights. This document, written in the ink of racist supremacist colonialism, set in motion 100 years of ethnic cleansing, dehumanization, and continued occupation. This land was deserted for centuries. There is no such thing as a distinct Palestinian people. בשום דבר, ואין עם פלסטיני, ואין אומה פלסטינית, יש עם פלסטינית שמעניין אותה רק טרור. We need to kill the Arabs. <laughs> A century after this declaration and its shameful legacy, the British government remains unapologetic. It is an anniversary we will be marking with pride. Shameful pride indeed. Instead of continuing to deny Palestinian rights and ignoring Britain's responsibility for this injustice, it's time for Britain to admit its culpability and acknowledge its legacy. It is time for Britain to make it right. <laughs>